Hi there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. So for today's blog post and accompanying video, I'm gonna go back to um, the roots of something that Matthew and I started last year, which was answering questions with video. Um, I think they help with clarity on a lot of these questions. You can actually see how to do the processes instead of writing them out. So for today's question, I found a pretty good one. So let me share my screen. It's pretty simple. It's from Ivona Sabeva. And it says, how do I change the admin on QuickBooks Online? So that's pretty simple. You just go into the file, manage users, and, you know, delete the person and add a new one. That seems pretty simple. So I went to a file that I have as a sample. Um, and I can see I've got, you know, myself as master admin, and then I had my daughter as um, just admin. So I come over here to the drop down, and there's nothing here that lets me delete. Now, I know I've seen delete, and I was like, wow, that's interesting, because I know delete has been there. What happened to the delete? I can come in here and edit and add my new, just to say this company had a, you know, there are board of directors and the treasurer changed to a new treasurer, and you needed to add a new company admin. So I can come in here and edit the name, but if you look here, it says editing this email won't change your user ID for signing in. You can change this in your user profile. So if you click um, find out more, it brings you to this page about updating an email and it talks about if you can edit the you know you have to edit the actual intuit name so you can come over and that will bring you down if you come here to that link it'll bring you here and it just says that you can change it if you're an accountant user how do you change it to actually on your teams um, if you want to go to change it just managing another user's name go to the gear manage users and change it but clearly if i try to change it here it tells me that this is not going to change this person. So if I came up here and added a new um, new name and a new email address, right? It's not going to, even though it's going to accept it, he's not going to have access to this file. I just updated the ID and, and information here, but he hasn't done the process of being invited, signing the invite, and getting put in so that it connects the Intuit account. That's what we're trying to connect here. So I was a little bit stumped because I know I've seen delete and I've seen it where you'd be able to add it. So the common sense tells me that it, even though I changed these details, this is not the way to do it because he's still not going to be able to get into this file. Um, it's still going to be connected to Tammy's account. So the way to do it is to actually add another user to the law firm company where I actually have added that second user. So I've now I've added the new treasurer, um, Matthew Fulton, and my daughter is now the outgoing treasurer. I've added them both as company admin. You can see admin here. So now all I have to do is come over to here and I can actually delete her because now that box is exposed where I have the ability to delete. So I can just delete her as a user. And now they, we only have the one treasurer. So that's basically how you'll be able to do these steps is you actually have to add that second company admin to take the other admin off. And I hope that's helpful. So this is just a, a great question because when I first came in, I'm like, there's no delete. And now I, I knew I had seen delete. So if you add that, that extra person, you should have the ability to delete the other admin. And the master admin, of course, has all the power. So you know that. A company admins have a, the same, have a similar power. They just don't have the power to remove a master admin. So with a master admin, if you were going to transfer the rights of a master admin to another, to the company admin, you actually transfer them. You don't, um, that person's got the ultimate power of the file. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment and um, I'll see you next week on the next question. Bye now.